Hey guys, what do you mean my hair looks stupid? First of all, I'd just like to say, has anyone seen Anchorman 2? I saw it the other night. Some parts were really hard to watch. Like you were just like, it's not funny anymore. I don't know, maybe I'm getting older. But I just had to share that. I don't know what I'm talking about. So guys, most requested video right now, how to be happy. The number one thing that everybody has a mistake with doing is caring what people think. Become like me. Do not give a damn what people think about you. I could walk out like this right now and be like, whatever. If you're not confident enough in doing that, that's fine. Just find some way to think, why do I care what that girl thinks? Why do I care if he has a crush on me? Like, just stupid things. There's one thing that people cannot take away from you and that's being yourself. No one can ever be you and that is your biggest advantage. The second thing is to think, why am I sad? Like to actually say to yourself, why am I sad? If there's a reason, write it down. I always find writing to yourself, like I guess that's where diaries come in. Writing to yourself sort of gets it out and you're thinking, that is so dumb. Like, fair enough if you have someone that has passed away or, you know, that does take time to get over and it's important that you deal with that. But if it's something stupid like, this girl just didn't invite me to her party, it's so dumb. Like, girls are dumb. I I'll be the first to say it. So many different catfights at school about nothing. Shut up, girls. You're so annoying. If you are going through something really depressing like death, um, the only death I've dealt with was losing my dog, and at the time she was my best friend. So it was like my whole world crumbled, and it took me I'll be honest, it took me months to even realise she's not coming back. And the first step is realising that they're not coming back and that is super, super hard to deal with. You need to get to that stage like, all right, I've got to, I've got to move on. I've got to live how they would want me to live. Like think of the person that has passed away and think, would they want me crying like this? No, no, they wouldn't. If you think they would, no. <laughs> They would want you to be so happy, to not worry about them, to just live your life and be who you are, okay? Now there's a few of you out there that say you have no friends, your family hates you. I have been there, okay? I am lucky enough right now to have the best friends in the world and, you know, I'm sort of getting along with my family right now, which is really good, but I have been where you are. You know, I have felt that no one wanted me. I would sometimes sit at the park by myself and think, what's the point? I promise you, it gets so much better. It's like a test in life. You've got to get through that bad stage. And I find when you get through those horrible stages, something good happens. If you decide to commit suicide, you would never have experienced the good thing. Just think every time you're sad or something bad happens, it's just a test. That's all that it is. Like you can get through that, I know you can. You are so much stronger than you think you are. Jeez, I should be a motivational speaker. <laughs> Maybe not like that a lot. And the most important step to be happy is to love yourself and who you are. If you don't love yourself, how are you supposed to love anybody else? Like, it's impossible. If there's something you don't like about yourself, if you say, I'm super fat, like that's disgusting do something about it. Don't keep eating. Don't not do exercise. If you want that fit body, you got to work at it. I'm like, it's hard. I know it's hard. You have those abilities inside you to be who you want to be. If you're not happy right now, change it. You think, oh, that's too hard. I'm just going to eat something again. Like, I agree. Food is amazing. But if you want that ultimate body, you got to work at it. And the sooner you realize that, you're gonna look damn fine. So guys, I wanna know, what is your number one thing to cope when you're sad? Do you throw yourself in a game or do you go out shopping or what do you like to do? Because sometimes you feel like there's nothing you can do. You just wanna sit in your room and you think that no one cares and trust me, I've been there. Like I might seem happy in all my videos but sometimes I don't even feel like making a video. I'll be honest, I'm not always like this. So if there's any YouTuber out there that knows what you're going through, it's me. Like I'm just saying, no need to boast or anything. I have been there.
Of course, the most important step to cheer you up is just watch my videos. Seriously, I'm crazy. But I guess at the end of all of my videos as a message, be yourself. Do not care what people think of you and be happy. Be happy with who you are. Go for what you want in life. There's nothing more important. Even if your parents don't approve, don't care about that. Care about what you want. And just remember, I am always here for you guys no matter what. Some people might think that's lame, but I don't care. If you guys seriously have no one, if you have no friends, you feel like your family hates you, I'm here. I might not always reply to your messages because there's a lot of them, but just know that I'm thinking of you. I know you're there, I know you exist, and I know you're important. So, mwah. P.S. My hair's really sexy. If I can look like this and be happy, you can do. Trust me. Okay, bye.